Today we're going to do a little maintenance on our tow vehicle. It's a 2020 GMC 2500 HD SLT with the Duramax diesel and we are going to change the fuel filter. Stay tuned! So we're going to do a pretty easy maintenance thing today of changing the fuel filter on the pickup truck. Uh, I'll show you the tools that you'll need. The things you'll need to replace the fuel filter are the fuel filter, a socket, a 36 millimeter, and a drip pan to catch the diesel fuel. Now I'll go over and I'll show you where the fuel filter is located on the truck. It's actually in a pretty simple place. It's about midway up on the truck, right in front of the fuel tank. I'll get under here and see if I can show it to you. I'll show you where the fuel filter canister is. If you can see that nut right there. Right there. I'm going to take that loose and drain the diesel fuel out and replace that filter that's inside the canister. We'll let that drain out and then we'll take the filter canister off and change the filter. Okay guys, here's the filter canister and the filter. Show that to you real quick. Okay, we're gonna move the, remove the filter from the canister. It's a little tight. That's all there is to that. Filter is not too terrible a shape. Okay, I'm gonna, here's the canister. I'm gonna wipe this canister out and then we'll install the new filter. Okay, we're gonna open the new filter. By the way, the filter I'm using is the uh, Napa Gold filter, uh, part number 600451. There's the filter itself. And it comes with O-rings, new O-rings. Um, the big one, of course, goes around this canister here. Uh, and then there's a small one that goes on a little stem underneath the truck uh, where you unscrew the canister off of that I'll also show you when I put it on. Okay, they also uh, recommend lubricating this little rubber gasket. So I've done that. I just used some used diesel fuel for that. Uh, so we've got that ready. We're going to take the old one off, which it comes off pretty easy. Put the new one on. Okay, you want to make sure that new one goes down on the groove. There's a groove here around on the canister. And I'll show you where this little gasket here goes underneath the truck. If you look up in there, you can see there's a little blue gasket on that stem. We're going to remove that and put the new gasket on. Okay. Okay, the new gasket's on. Now we gotta do is install the fuel filter on the in the canister. Okay, to install the fuel filter on the canister, you'll put the small end inside the canister and it fits over a little nub that's down there in the canister itself. And it clicks in place. Now all we have left to do is screw the can canister back in. Oh. 
Okay guys, we've installed the filter canister. Now we need to prime the pump. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Basically you get in the truck, don't hit the foot brake, and just push the start stop but engine button and hold it for four or five seconds and the truck will come on. I can hear the pump running. I'm sure you guys probably can't, but. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that twice and uh, I believe we'll be primed up and ready to start. Okay, the second time we did it, I heard a lot of air uh, coming out. I think I'm gonna do it three times just to be safe. I don't hear anything this time, so I think we're primed and ready to go. So we'll try to start the truck. Okay, it started up and running. I'm gonna check for leaks real quick. Don't see any leaks, so I'll leave the truck run here for about five or 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, I forgot to show you how to reset the fuel filter life. And uh, basically you just start the truck and you put it on the fuel filter life screen and you just hit reset and you'll hit yes. I think you shut the truck off then restart and it resets the truck. And there you go. That's how you reset the fuel filter life. This concludes our video on the changing of the fuel filter on a 2020 GMC 2500HD SLT truck. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have fun camping. We'll talk to you later. Bye.